Good morning, I'm here in my bedroom, which is the likely place that you're gonna wake up and do this yoga practice in as well. Good morning, I hope that you slept very well and enjoy your morning wake up routine with me. So to start, we're going to just come into a comfortable sitting position. You can sit up on a cushion or anything else that you have to hand. And then when you're ready, just close your eyes, soften your shoulders away from your ears, and just start to pay attention to the breath, beginning to expand your breath on the inhale, and to contract the belly button towards the spine on the exhale. You're breathing in for a count of four, and out for a count of four. Ujjayi breath, which means that we are gently contracting in the throat so that the passageway that the air flows through becomes a little narrower. And if this is your first time hearing that name, don't worry about it, just do your best. Then we're gonna add the arms to this. So as we inhale, the arms are rising up. As we exhale, the arms are opening out to the side and down. Three more like this, inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. We're going to reach our right arm out to the side. We're going to reach our left arm over our ear. Gently spin the heart up towards the ceiling, beginning to open through the left side of the body. Keep your sit bones grounded. Spin through the heart center. Soften your shoulders away from the ears. Two more deep breaths. That same breath throughout the practice, in for four and out for four. Maybe coming just a little deeper now and back up to center and the same on the other side left arm reaches away right arm comes over the right ear the left shoulder is soft away from the ear as you spin your heart towards the ceiling keeping your sit bones grounded breathe into the right side of the rib cage good stay here another couple of breaths every breath just dropping a tiny bit deeper into it Deep breath here. And inhale, coming up to center. Great. If you've been sitting up on a cushion or something, you might want to come off it now. We're going to sit cross legged. When we sit cross legged, we're looking to make a square shape with our legs. So our heels are underneath our knees. We're going to place our hands on our knees and begin to circle. On the inhale, it's a forward movement, and on the exhale, it's a backward. So imagine like you have a very long pencil attached to the crown of your head. And with that long pencil, you want to be making a circle on the ceiling. Inhale forwards, and exhale back. Just go at your own speed, and close your eyes when you feel comfortable with the movement. And you're just opening into the hips and into the lower back. It's one of my favorite exercises to do first thing in the morning. It's to help wake everything up. Do two more in this direction. Inhale forwards. Exhale back. And then change direction. Inhale forwards, exhale back. And you might notice that one side feels easier than the other direction. Keep going just a little bit longer. Inhale forwards, and exhale back, last three. back 
back to center as you're ready. We're gonna come over onto our hands and our knees. You're bringing your hands underneath your shoulders and your knees underneath your hips. We're gonna come into cat and cow, and just sideways. So as you inhale, lift your tail, lift your heart, lift your chin, lift your chest. As you exhale, tuck your tail round your spine, draw your nose towards your belly button. So as you inhale, you're lifting your tail, you're lifting your heart, you're lifting your chin. As you exhale, you're tucking your tail, you're rounding your spine, you're pressing into the ground. Three more times. center. We're going to spread the fingers and tuck the toes and lift up and back into downward facing dog. Our first downward facing dog we're going to let one knee bend and then the other knee bend so that you're stretching through alternate leg. And relax the head completely lifting through the tailbone, stretching through the spine and the backs of the legs. <clears throat> Last one each side. And then as you're ready, that right foot's going to step forwards in between our hands and the left knee is dropped down onto the ground. On your inhale now, you're reaching your tailbone back, lengthening out through the spine and through the right leg. And on your exhale, you're bending into the right knee, sink deep and pull the heart forwards. As you inhale, pull the tailbone back. As you exhale, bend the knee. Three more times. You don't have to completely straighten out the right leg. Look for the spine to stay in one long line rather than round like in cat. So keeping the right side of the rib cage as best you can as close to the right thigh. And if that means you don't completely straighten the leg, that's no problem. Last time. And then bend into that right knee. And this time we're going to bring the right elbow to rest on the right thigh. As you inhale, reach the left arm up. And as you exhale, circle back. Follow the fingers with the eyes. Open through the shoulder and the chest. You're inhaling up. And exhaling back. Two more times. This time your left hand is coming down onto the floor. As you inhale, the right arm is reaching up. You're into a twist. Breathing deeply. One more breath. And on your exhale, lowering through the right hand, lifting the left knee up, step back, downward facing dog. This time you can let both of the heels drop down towards the floor. Relax your head, look back towards your toes. <clears throat> take a deep breath in through the nose. And open the mouth, take a big sigh. And when you're ready, your left foot's now gonna step forwards in between your hands. Your right knee is lower down onto the floor. You're gonna inhale to pull the tail back, working towards straightening the left leg. You're gonna exhale to bend into the left knee, drop the hips and pull the heart forwards. Inhale, tailbone reaches back. Exhale to bend. Three more times. Left side of the rib cage is staying towards the left thigh as best you can. last two. You might notice that one side feels different from the other. That's very normal. And last one. And then we're bending into that left knee. We're bringing the left elbow to the thigh. 
deeply inhaling to reach the right arm up and exhale to circle it back. Inhale up and exhale back. Following the fingers with the eyes, opening through the shoulder and the chest one more time. Your right hand is coming down to the floor. You're inhaling to reach your left arm up, squeezing the left knee into the midline as you spin through the heart, straight line, right arm to left. One more deep breath. And lower your left hand down. You're coming back into your downward facing dog. Taking that deep breath in through the nose. And that big sigh out through the mouth. On your next inhale, we're coming forwards into a plank. Check that the shoulders are directly over the wrists. Press the heels away. As you exhale, draw the belly to the spine, press back, downward facing dog. Twice more, inhale, forwards plank. Exhale, belly to spine, back to dog. One more time, inhale, forwards plank. And exhale, back to dog. Inhale to come forwards into plank. Exhale to lower all the way, one long straight line down onto your belly. We're coming into cobra. Our hands are underneath our shoulders. We're inhaling to lift forwards and up. Now for this first one, we're gonna lift the hands up off the floor, checking that we're using our back muscles to lift us. Breathing here, lengthening the tailbone towards the heels, neck in line with the spine. One more breath. And exhale, forehead to the floor. And next time, hands stay down as we inhale. Rise up, shoulders roll down the back. Any pinching in the lower back, and just come down lower. Take one more deep breath. And exhale, lower. And then you're gonna reach your bottom back to your heels and come to a child's pose. So bottom onto the heels, forehead to the floor, and breathing here. Three deep breaths. And slowly with your chin into it, your chest, curling up through the spine. You're gonna stay in a kneeling position if a kneeling position feels comfortable for you, otherwise come back into that cross-legged. Then you're gonna bring your fingers to your shoulders. <clears throat> We're touching the elbows on the exhale. We're squeezing the shoulder blades together on the inhale. Touching the elbows on the exhale, squeezing the shoulder blades on the inhale. You might get a little creaks and cracks. One more time. Now the next time the elbows touch, we're inhaling up and exhaling down. See if you can get the elbows to meet in front of the chest. And circle the other way. Slowly we're going to circle our head in one direction, chin to the chest, left ear to the left shoulder, look up, right ear to the right shoulder, look down. back to where we started sitting in a nice comfortable sitting position thank you so much for starting the day with me and i hope you enjoyed this morning yoga routine i will see you in other videos have a great day